Hello everyone, the stable diffusion animate diff workflow have been booming recently. I saw you guys feedback want to use this comfy UI workflow to create more unique style animation. I did some experiment and got this kind of animation you are watching. So here is the solution that is inspired by one of the OG developer in stable diffusion community. Let's check it out. So first we are going to load up our workflow diagrams here, drag and drop them into the comfy UI. And then let's zoom in. As you can see, the thing is kind of kept original in this part. I am going to turn off the face change group and also the image detailer. We can bypass these two groups as we are only testing the LCM video generation in first try. And then we are going to check out the IP adapter here. Now I'm going to use this image for our next video's animations as an IP adapter reference. Here, I am using the Absolute Reality LCM. This checkpoint model was just recently released after the LCM Lawrence model. Again, the checkpoint links will be provided in the description below, and then we are going to explore our new features. Oh. I'm sorry, let's check out the Animate Diff Loader here. I have tried out these improved Freedom Motions modals for Animated Diff. Now I'm going to post a link in the description below. You can go download and try it out for yourself as well because this time, I am going to render some kind of 3D animations. And here are the new features that I added to this workflow. Now I'm going to name this group as Image Mass Groups, something like that. Yeah, Image Frames Mass. So what it does is basically it will gather all the image frames from the source videos after loading the videos into the workflow. Then it comes to this one, Former Coco Segmenter. Basically, uh, what it does is it will go segment the objects in each image that we process and then we will have some colorized like a heat map for that image. After that it goes to the mass from colors where I set the red to the highest one for us to mass and then it goes to a grow mass and mass blur to blur the background. These custom notes can be downloaded in our comfy UI manager. Scroll down to my installed custom notes here. And you will see this one. You can also search for this in Comfy UI Essentials, okay? So you've got to download this Comfy UI Essentials. Then this is the official GitHub page of this custom note. You can check out more information there. And also, we are going to continue our workflow here. So, um, how did I get inspired by this article? Well, sorry, I mean this workflow posted on OpenArt uh, website. Um, and I, I saw this workflow doing pretty well. The author um, mentioned in his YouTube uh, videos that we can remove the backgrounds for the line art control net. And that's how we can remove the source video's background. Then we can process our animated diff with our text prompts and also leverage the IP adapter to create unique style. For some of you who don't know the author, um, who is this guy actually, you might ask. Well, this guy is one of the judges in the open art contest and his name is Matt. He is the OG developer of the IP adapter extensions and well, there will be nothing wrong to follow his advice. So I have been inspired by one of his part that he mentioned using image mask for image frames in his workflow. And then I'm using comfy UI essentials, custom notes and try to apply it with the line art control net in my workflow. So before the video's image frame load to line art, it will process in this group and it will be regenerating the masked image one by one and then pass it to the line art control net. Now you will see what happened when I process the whole picture of this. You will understand why I am going to use this one. It completely removes the backgrounds from the source videos, allowing you to create unique styles of backgrounds. Let me download some stock videos from Artlist to be safe. I am going to use my Artlist stock videos membership to avoid copyright issues. Let's try it out. So back to our workflow. 
we can delete this open post and we are only using this DW open post right now. Yeah, that is the new custom notes group that I have added to this version of the workflow. And I'm going to try a few examples here using this IP adapter, passing this cyber realistic image, and then we are going to load up our example videos. Okay, let's dial down the weight of this IP adapter. I set it to 0 0.8. And let's try our flying suit actions videos here. Now, before that, we have to set the ratio of the image. Usually we set it for landscape here. And also, we have to remember to set the image width and height in these new groups. Now, what I do is just copy and paste all the width and height that is divided by two from the original source. So we have these numbers here. Then let's check out the other nodes to ensure we don't have any problems and we can get started. Now, before we get started, I want to define some styles for this animation. So let's say raw photos. Ultra detail, 8K, Ultra HD, let's say masterpiece. We need this for getting more details. And set to photo realistic. Yeah, for sure. That will enhance the detail of each image frame. And then we go down to that travel prompt. Now, we stop using the Neo Light Disco Light and we go for the space theme styles this time. What I am trying to do is have the flying men jumping from the hill and then flying to space. So, this is what I'm aiming for. A space background with some rockets in space. Hopefully, we'll see some rockets in space. And let's check if there's a UFO in space. Let's try it in the last travel prompts here. UFO in space background, trying to define this one. And there you have it. The travel prompts, I have defined it for this flying man videos. So hopefully this guy will be flying in space. And then we have the IP adapter. The IP adapter, actually I turned it down to 0 0.6. I want more styles from the text prompt here. 6040 rules. So everything looks good. We don't need to run the detailer and the face change and let's run it. So wait for a moment here. Let this segment load and you will see the new custom notes that I added. It will mask each image frame. And then it will remove the backgrounds for each image, leaving only the main characters in each image. So there you have it. The preview image is right here for the segment. It segments the main character as red colors and then the backgrounds and every little small object will be other colors. That's why I define the mass from colors here. I set the red to 220 inspired by the OG developer Matt. Now the workflow goes to image upscales and tries to remove other colors in the mass image. It will bring back the main characters from the source videos and other objects will be wiped out as black colors. This helps the line art to only focus on the main characters. As you can see in the preview image, the other objects and backgrounds are removed similar to the concept of removing background transparency in PNG. However, in stable diffusions, we only use the characters and the other rest of the objects are removed. Now it passes to the line art control net and we have the line art control net preview here. The line art only includes the main characters drawing the line out from the control net sections. The AI will only focus on using the main character's line art as the reference. And then the backgrounds and everything are based on the checkpoint's imaginations. How the AI follows my text prompts and creates the backgrounds and also the IP adapter styles. Now I have some stock videos.
a dancing guy on the street, two of these, and motorcycles. I want to transform these into another unique style. Let's try it out. As you can see, we have already removed the backgrounds and added some flying in space styles. The backgrounds, colors, and themes follow the image from the IP adapter. And look at the background there. It looks like a futuristic spaceship with stars in space flying. It's totally complete. Okay, let's try out another example here. This example is like a guy dancing on the street and there are a lot of objects behind him and you see all these buildings and trees. If you want to generate another animation like this, you don't want these buildings. You can use this method. I'm using this IP adapter image like a Star Wars style and then the skies are going to be like a northern light sky. And right now, as you can see, the dancing guy in the masked image segment is turning red, marked as red colors. All the buildings, all the small objects behind him are turning to other colors masked. Then the next step the AI is going to do is remove everything except the red colors objects. That means the main characters in this video. Now, in the line art right here, it is tracing the line, the outline of this main character only. The other objects are not appearing here because we pass the image frames from the image mask group. Let's wait for the result. The K sample is operating and now it appears in the result. Look at this. It is totally different from the original source videos and the color and the stylus are taken from the image of the IP adapter. And then there's some stars and space styles going on because my text prompts are also involved in this generation. Look at the skis. There's some kind of north lighting styles from the IP adapter image. It's really cool. You can create some really new, unique styles different from the original source videos. And this is really based on your creativity. You can do different combinations with other images in the IP adapter as a reference, and then you can create another unique style. Let me enable the detailers groups here and let me enhance this video. After the detailers group generates, it has appeared with some better, not better. I mean more details on the face because I'm choosing the face detailer. In here, it is following this reference image from the IP adapter. The Star Wars masks are appearing on the main character's face, so the dancer has the Star Wars face here. Let me disconnect this group and let's use the previous workflow here. So what it does is directly connecting from the source videos to the line art and then you will see the difference from the previous versions. As you can see, the line art is gathering all the image frames and look at the background, all the houses, buildings, all the small objects and trees remain in the line art outlining image. So the DW pose control net is still the same. Let's wait for the result. And here is the result without using the mass image. Mask images remove background. As you can see, all the houses, trees, small objects, and the cars appear in the backgrounds of the generated animations. Except the sky, they are following my IP adapters image styles and also the dancer is using that style, but other objects are still remaining here. Uh, let's compare it in full screen. So without and with a mask images background, you can see how totally different the style is. If having a background is fine, there's nothing wrong. But for some animation videos, I understand that you want to remove the backgrounds entirely, and that is how you do it. So let's try out another one. This time I'm using this tornado storms image. 
as an IP adapter reference for the motorbike action, and I got this outcome. Actually, the original source video is like a guy riding a motorbike, but here it removed all the backgrounds and the guy is surfing on the water. And then there's another generated result. It's like water skateboarding. So yeah, we can do something really cool with this using different combinations. So I hope you guys got some inspirations. The creation has no limits. You can use different images in the IP adapter and you can create your own unique styles animations with this method. And the nice thing is you wouldn't get copyright warning in your channel. So I hope you guys enjoy it and I will see you in the next videos. Have a nice day. Bye.